Welcome students, today we will discuss about back price optimization problem using grid search technique. So we already discussed about the back price problem. A back price problem is an integer optimization technique in which you have to find out the optimum selling price for 5 different bags. So here in this problem the unit cost is given here and the cost formula for computing the bags is given here and the sales, sales formula is given here. So what you have to do means you have to calculate the profit function. Profit function is given as by this equation. It is simply the difference between selling price minus cost price. Okay? You have to solve this problem using grid search technique. So let us see the grid search technique. So we already discussed that we can import this function available in grid R and the syntax for grid search algorithm is G search function and it takes 5 arguments. First one is a step size, lower range, upper range, profit and a max. Okay, we want to find out the maximization of the profit. So here the step size, it is a column vector okay it is a column vector how to increment the step size so you have to define using a column vector okay so this is how we will calculate uh, this is how we will implement the step size variable using column vector. So here 10 represents the step size. So similarly lower range it represents from where the searching has to be started. So here you can see the selling price has to be in between $1 to $1000 therefore the lower range is $1, $1 for each bag. Here in our case 5 bags are there. So what you have to do means? you have to define a column vector and specify the lower range. So lower range. Similarly, you have to define the upper range. So here in this question, clearly the upper range is specified as $1000. So you have to define the upper range, upper searching range for 5 bags. So since we are having 5 bags, you have to repeat the 1000. Okay. So after defining first three arguments, the next argument is profit function. In the previous video, I have shown you how to implement the profit function. Okay. So I am already having, so I will just copy it. So I have implemented the profit function also. So profit function takes a vector of selling prices, a vector of selling prices and it will compute the profit which is given as per the problem. So after implementing this code, our next step is to print the results. So I already told you it will throw you the S1 object. So to access the solution, optimum solution, you have to use the dollar symbol. Okay. And for finding the optimum value, that is the maximum value, what is the maximum profit, you have to use evaluation. Okay. So with this S1 object, you can call, you can perform the uh, naming labeling. Okay. So let us see we save it and then we select all the code and then we will run. Let us see what is the optimum value. Oh, here you can see this, our searching starts from 1 to 1000 dollars and we found out that optimum value occurred at 901 and 901901. This is the optimum maximum value we got. So this is your optimum solution using grid search technique. Okay. Thank you students. 
for this problem you can also change the step size that is 100 100 100 for each bag and see the output so let us see the output we have changed here in the previous case we have fixed the step size as 10 and here we have fixed the step size as 100 let us see what is the output we get so in this case also we get 901 is the output value so you can also change the upper range for different bags let us say this is only 500 for second bank the upper range that means you cannot fix the price beyond 700 for fourth bank you can set the maximum of 600 and uh, you want to fix maximum of 800 that means uh, uh, you can specify the different upper range that means for first bag the maximum price you can set is 1000 and uh, for second bag maximum price is 700 you can specify like that also let us see uh, what is output we, got, we will get we select it ok you can see this dear students uh, we got the the maximum value at 601 for this one for first bag and 601 for second bag similarly uh, 701 for third bag and 401 for uh, final bag that is fifth bag this is the outer value and this is the value we got in this way you can specify the ranges you can specify the ranges and see what is the uh, optimum solution we will get this is a maximization problem so so you can change the formula also the formula for profit function and see how it behaves what is the maximum value you get okay students so only thing you have to remember is these arguments the name of the function and the arguments and it will throw you the output object with that object you can uh, print the optimum solution and optimum value thank you students